Hi, this video is a black line demo video. I thought I'd record a short video for you just showing you how I work through the process of black lining a drawing. I have a tracing underneath here that I did from uh, a mock-up that I put together in SketchUp and I'm just working my way through uh, black lining. So black lining or adding graphic line uh, is basically just the process of turning your sketch into something that's a little bit more presentable. So I'm starting off with kind of a medium uh, line weight uh, pen. So this is one of my favorite drawing pens. So work with whatever you like. Uh, generally you do most of the heavy lifting with kind of your medium line weight. Typically I'm working with three line weights. So I'm going to work with kind of a medium um, and then I'll work with uh, adding a heavier line weight and then I add my, my fine line weight uh, at the end. Um, so basically I'm just trying to establish most of the detail at this point. Um, so making familiar marks, so you draw trees the way that you draw trees with the marks that you've uh, established is kind of the vocabulary of marks that you typically make. Um, and then just kind of work your way through the drawing. Uh, in this example I definitely get a little bit carried away with uh, adding too much line in some areas, so your own individual uh, style um, and how much detail you like to add with your color at the end also will dictate how you tend to do your graphics. So just adding line weight to the trees, um, thinking a little bit about shadow, so you can see I'm adding um, some 45 degree stroke uh, in the areas that would have some shadow in the under canopy of the, of the tree. But in essence, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's kind of the minimum level of detail I need to get the point across. Just drawing some of the trees in the background, Just trying to add the entourage. Now, if you'd like to stylize your entourage a little more, then you can certainly do that. Um, things like uh, dogs or their elements that way. So, I mean, if you're not comfortable drawing a lot of these features, it's nice to be able to just simply trace them. But you still have to have that base uh, ability to make the graphic line marks. So more 45 degree stroke in the background for some of the background trees to kind of differentiate uh, the space a little bit. And the way that you develop uh, the language of marks that you need to be able to uh, suggest different types of plants and textures and materials is just simply through practicing the different marks that you make. Uh, I strongly encourage you to doodle and scribble and figure out what marks you can make um, naturally and over and over again and then you just build your uh, drawing out of the marks that you tend to like to make. Everybody has different uh, marks that are comfortable for them so using those rather than trying to copy somebody else's is generally the most effective way. If you want to draw fast you have to do the things that you tend to do naturally and uh, work with those. Uh, so adding a suggestion of some mulch in the bed. Now when I deal with this uh, planter, um, when I did the mock-up I didn't actually push up uh, to give any uh, vertical dimension to the planter itself because I know I can do it quite easily in the drawing. So what I end up doing in the drawing is I'm taking the tape off and I'm actually just shifting the drawing up uh, and then I'm going to draw on the ground plane the outline of the planting bed. So I've just basically given it you know six inches or so of uh, vertical dimension and now I'm just tracing what was there flat on the ground. Um, so that's an easy way of uh, speeding up your drawing process or avoiding having to model that as well. You know, I'll start to add things like a little bit of shadow. Um, and I probably could have just left the drawing almost as it was with just the one line weight, but it is always a good idea to go back in and add some heavier line weight. If I need to try and further differentiate what's in the foreground versus the background. So I'm doing that now with uh, a Pentel sign pen, which has got a slightly thicker tip. It's not a real fat one, but I'm figuring out what profiles overlap um, and trying to make it look like those things are in the foreground. I'll also look for profiles that are kind of set out um, from the background. So the profile of the tree, kind of the outline profile of the planting bed. Uh, but I don't do everything because if you do everything it makes it look flat, like a 2D cutout. So you're just looking for overlapping edges, you know, the shadow side of the trunk, kind of the shadow side of your figure. 
And now I'm using a finer pen. So this is a 0.3 tip. Uh, and I'm just adding some of the texture. So you might draw a bunch of leaves. You may add in you know, a few pebbles to suggest texture in uh, a ground cover surface, um, some more detail in the trunk, maybe some more detail in the clothes, maybe some grass. But again, only do as much as you, you need to do. And the whole purpose of graphics is, is simply just communication. So you have to you know, try to avoid the urge to make it into an artwork because it's not an artwork. In fact, you may have to completely redo it if your client doesn't like it. Uh, so you don't get too heavily invested. Just figure out how you can say what you need to say in a stylish and effective way um, in the least amount of time possible. And then I finish my border. Um, and then I'm just adding you know, a few stray leaves and some other elements like that uh, into the tree. So just adding that final bit of detail with your finest pen. So this is where you add your, your texture, your wood grain, your um, ground cover surface, the, the finest level of detail. In this drawing, I probably went way too far with it. It ends up being pretty dense and doesn't leave me a lot of room for adding color. Uh, we'll do a demo on rendering uh, shortly uh, and post that as well, just so you can kind of see how I approach the process of laying down color in a drawing and how I work from light to dark and all of that stuff. So putting in a little suggestion here in the background of uh, a horizon line or something might be in the background. Some trees and whatnot. And then Essentially, the rest of the work is done with color. So thank you for watching my uh, little video on Blackline.